We're thinking about sit to stand and uh, previously I showed you what I call the forward facing where I'm facing the same way as, as my, my, my person, my patient. But from the side of the bed, for me to get into the right position is actually quite compromising. So this is a very good way of helping people in a sit to stand. Again, we know that they can stand. Um, this is a very good way from the side of a bed an armchair if they're very close together and toilets when they're very close to the wall so i call this rear facing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn my body i'm going to come at an angle again and i've still got my base what i'm going to be very careful i do is not block alice's knee if I just put my knee here and show you how it disables Alice by trying to stand, then we'll show you. So Alice, can you stand up, please? Okay. Because she hasn't allowed to have that knee flexion, so if my knee is in the way, then it's going to hamper you. So I'm coming at the side, and I'm coming as close as I possibly can. And this time, I'm only going to put my hands on this side of your body, okay? So I'm going to put my hands here, and the flat of my hand is going to go on her flat uh, shoulder blade, onto her scapula, okay? Now, she can do this in her own time. If you're like, I do like a helpful patient. It's very good if they put their hands to help push themselves up. That's fantastic. Hand here, hand, hand here. We'll do this in two manoeuvres, okay? First of all, we're going to come forward and then we're going to come up, okay? So, so when you're ready, come forward. Lovely. And up. Oh, lovely. Thank you. 